How do you determine whether someone is solvent or not? IRS has an insolvency worksheet in IRS Publication 4681 that you can use to help you determine whether you were solvent or not at the time of the debt cancellation. I have created a Google Sheets file of the insolvency worksheet that you can use. Let's go to an example. James made a deal with his credit card company to pay $2,000 on his $7,000 MasterCard credit card balance and the company agreed to take it as a payment in full. He received a Form 1099-C from his credit card company reporting $5,000 in box 2. Before the cancellation of debt is considered income, James would have to see whether he was solvent immediately before the debt was cancelled. He has to check what were his assets and liabilities right before the debt was cancelled. I have a simplified version of the IRS worksheet here. Let's put in some numbers for the assets and liabilities. In our case, James had 65,300 more in assets than liabilities in November of 2023. Therefore, he is considered solvent. Now, what happens when the situation would be the same, but James is considered insolvent? Meaning the fair market value of all the assets is less than the liabilities. The amount or level of insolvency is expressed as a negative net worth. If that was the case, James would need to use the IRS insolvency worksheet that you have a copy of now to perform the calculations and attach tax form 982 to his tax return, claiming insolvency exception and the cancellation of debt. Thanks so much for watching. 